Okay. Now this here seems to be interesting. It seems now Facebook reels, Facebook videos are getting hot. Let's see what this is about. Trisha Petris called out Jojo whatever for the, turning into a bully. Let's see what kind of bully. Trisha Paytas is publicly calling out Jojo Siwa for her lies on her podcast. I think she's really disturbed. And it's just disturbing that she does all this stuff with kids. And I just think it's like because she thinks it's okay. Jojo is very well known for always being at the heart of drama. She has rose to fame as a very young girl thanks to her appearance on Dance Moms and has been stirring controversy after controversy ever since. Just Leave it to, a, leave it to influencers to do things like that. Leave it to influencers to do things like that. But like I said... That's how I get my content, so yeah. Recently, she got in trouble for defending Colleen Ballinger, a YouTuber that had been accused of acting weird with her underage fans. The internet can take a lie and run so far with it to the point where you just can't do anything about it. Well, that particular drama was at its peak, and when Colleen had literally been canceled, JoJo was one of the only celebs to still have her back. The people really didn't like that, and that was the start of JoJo's fast downfall. Since then, she had managed to dig herself deeper and deeper into her own wrongdoing. And it's gotten so bad that even Trisha Paytas, another questionable internet persona, is calling her out publicly during her podcast. Trisha dedicated a whole segment on the Just Trish podcast to analyzing and talking about the most recent drama surrounding the Dance Bomb star. Allegedly, jo She's just doing that for the views and content. That's, that's what people are not checking in, though. She's doing that for the views and the content. Like what I'm doing here right now. Joe and her mother, Jessalyn Siwa, who is also her manager, formed a dance crew made up of really young girls and promised them fame and a good salary. But sadly, the girls received... Mothers. Mothers. Yes, I'm saying mothers. I'm not saying fathers, huh? Because for sure, if uh, cause for sure, if, uh, if, the, if, the, um, if those girls in, in that video, they had fathers, for fuck, they would, they would, not, they, they would not, not be doing that. So I would say, mothers, please... Keep your eye on your daughters. Nothing. This dance group's name was XOMG Pop, and it was formed in 2021 in a pretty harsh way, which Trisha describes during her podcast. They were formed from a reality show that JoJo and her mom, Jessalyn, I didn't know they were formed by a competition reality show. Like, I, did, I thought they were just, like, kids that JoJo knew or something, like, from her studio. And all the girls that JoJo selected were preteens, ranging in ages from 8 to 12, and they were promised stardom. The group was super well-received at first, and the public loved them. They even got to compete in the hit show America's Got Talent, where their performance blew both the audience and judges away. Even Simon Cow, the judge known for always being grumpy, absolutely loved them. I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't like it. What? No. I loved it. But unfortunately, their success was short-lived because JoJo and her mom scammed them hard. Because just a couple of weeks ago, one of the former members of the group, Leah Sanderson, who is now a 16-year-old, finally gathered the courage to speak up about all the mistreatment she and her fellow dancers endured from the Siwas. After months of teasing an explanation of what actually went down on her TikTok account, Leah finally announced the release of a Rolling Stone article in which she explained everything that happened and why she left the group. She lays out some serious accusations, including really low pay, a hostile working environment filled with bullying, and overall mistreatment that came from the Siwas themselves. That's not all. Apparently, the Siwas didn't care about the dancers' physical health and forced them to work even when they were feeling unwell. For example, Leah was born with a tumor on her spine, which has caused her to undergo many surgeries throughout her life. One of these surgeries happened around the time of a shoot for an XOMG pop music video, and allegedly, Leah was forced by Jessalyn to work under intense physical pain just a few weeks after she... With, with great fame comes great pain. You can't, you, you can't expect to be famous and then not expect pain. So you check. I'll say it again, with great fame comes great pain. Got out of the hospital. So far, Team Siwa has made no official response to the accusations apart from their lawyers stating that the claims were false. So as of now, it appears that JoJo, as she said in her song Boomerang, won't let the haters get their way, even with the story coming to light. Welcome to Fun for Days. Thank you for- But trust me, I'm gonna use this as my content. Let me see this. So JoJo and her mom did actually earn something from Gabby. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. I have watched Jojo for years and love watching her. No more, I will skip over her, Baba. Stop lying. You won't. You, you trust me. Whenever you see people say the, them kind of comments, believe me, they will do the opposite. What's that one now?
Trisha is the My G, I would not know what you said there. Imagine that. Thank you. Like I said, it's always one person in the corner that will always come up with the most sense. Yes. That's the, that's the only way she, she can actually stay well, um, well, relevant by stirring up drama. By causing problems, I bet you. If you, you see, if one day she stop, I bet you everybody will forget about her. I bet you knew that. Yeah, but let's just watch one more and see. And let's, let's just watch one more influencer, and you'll see what I mean by that's the only way it has stop causing trouble. Well, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. He's so special to me. I don't care what y'all say. Like I said, remember what I said about causing drama to stay relevant, of course. I introduce you people to the Island Boys. The Island Boys have a new BFF that got everyone confused. Or at least that's what everyone's saying after they posted this. Hey, my man. My man. Thank you to my man. You can catch them flirting on TikTok live together, hanging out at the mall, and having matching pajama parties at night. Got our onesies. Oh, what the hell? You know, enjoy ourselves. Have some fun. Which has fans free... Three clowns in one. Again, causing drama to stay relevant. Like, like you, you, I hope you remember. I hope you remember this that comment, you know, because remember when the guy said it, of course. Okay, these guys, the third rapper of the era, yeah, third rappers turn turn Jomaris. yeah, man. <laughs> Not online about them possibly dating and even former island boys are chiming in on it they was in the same bed together and they kissed they're a couple bro what? but lots of people think their latest move is just to take the focus off their recent fight with influencer jack doherty that shocked everybody <laughs> The Island Boys are no stranger to controversies, from being booed on stage for their rapping, to getting arrested by the police, even starting fights in their interviews. And despite their fans finding all this entertaining, turning into meme material, many others thought those were all stunts to go viral, which always caused a lot of backlash, making them apologize over and over again, and even trying to break. Like I said, trying to stay relevant. Yes, that is what they tend to do. Cause you can't tell me you're trying to rap and for and for God's sake, pull up your pants. Pull up your pants. Yeah. Pull up your pants and look at the first pants right under the way you actually see the balls. Pull up your pants. Thank God in their lives to wipe away their sins. You take Jesus as your savior, buried with Jesus in baptism. It looks like their sneaky behavior is far from over because recently they've been collaborating with this influencer. Recently they've been collaborating with this influencer called Hakeem Potter on TikTok, and their bond is stirring up talk online, making them look like a couple. He's so special to me. I don't care what y'all say. That in my forever. And not only can you see them spending time in the bedroom or making lip sync videos. And they have even publicly opened up about it. I'm you are? I am. No, you're not. I'm no, you're not. Oh, stop it. But a lot of people aren't buying it because they pulled the same card with other influences before, like Jack Doherty, who they kissed once while working together, and are always joking about it with their fans. Hey, how much money did you make this week? You're not making six figures a week, I'll tell you that, boy. But I don't have to kiss my brother to do that. But creating silly content with Jack didn't turn out as expected given their recent fallout because he always talked down on them for being richer, like when they couldn't afford to buy groceries while trying to help the homeless. Oh my God, he got declined for $20 for the oh, water. I did it, I did it. It's Okay, bro, maybe one day. Which ended up with the Island Boys attacking him and accidentally hurting Jack's girlfriend after a huge argument. You guys have zero money in your bank account. I have millions. Mama. All that on a plane. Uh, what, a plane are there? That's a plane, of course. I swear I see the plane. Forget, I'll just say a plane. 
Nice try. So amidst all the drama, word on the street is that the Island Boys are struggling for cash, and what's really going on with them and Hakeem is just about making money. After all, they hinted on IG about creating OF content together. But what do you guys think? Do they have a new partner for real, or is this just a business move to stay in the spotlight? Bro, we all know what that is. We all know what that is. That's because everybody does that. Like I said, to stay relevant. Every dying artist does this. Every dying influencer does this. Just for them to continue making revenue. Just for them to continue make, make, making revenue. From the ears who listen to them. Kinda like me. So. <laughs> Because like I said, it's because of them. I keep because of them. I, I keep actually getting content because of them. So I care blame them. Trust me. I'm not gonna this. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna gonna this, this this them too much. I hope you enjoy this video, people. Because I have to end this hair. Because I don't make it too long. So I have to end this hair. So please like, subscribe, share. You know, yeah. Like, subscribe, share, and that is it. I'll see y'all next Monday.